I saw you've done a video about this, about the carnivore diet, about this zero carb approach, because we're thinking, oh, well, insulin, if insulin's too high, why don't we just take all of the stimulation of the insulin, right? I was thinking, okay, in the spirit of experimentation, I will try this diet. And I did for about nine months. Mm -hmm. But I do have several other small, like one centimeter nodules that have kind of accumulated over the years. And so my thinking was, okay, well, maybe I can shrink these down before they grow any larger. And actually, the opposite happened. And I also felt really, really great in the beginning, but the longer I did it, actually towards the end of the nine months, I experienced really detrimental effects on my sex hormones. All of my sex hormones started to crash. Mm -hmm. So from your perspective as an endocrinologist, what do you think could be happening here? So the problem with the carnivore diet and the carnivore supporters claim that meat has everything in it. It, right. it, it doesn't. So you're actually... Uh, and it's not just about uh, protein and vitamins. Polyphenols and antioxidants is yeah. something that our body needs. And when you deprive your body off of that, it becomes a problem. Even if it is done correctly, let's say you're eating grass-fed, grass fish, everything is great, never touching the daily meat, you're still missing out on the antioxidants and anti-inflammatory substances in the vegetables. But also you are depriving your body of glucose uh, or carbohydrates, so your, your pancreas function. Anything in the body that's not used will atrophy, mm. right? Oh, you know, yeah, it's, it's Christmas, let's just eat some desserts, and then, and then the next thing you know, their blood sugar is 400. You used to be maybe 100, 150, you know, with the same type of food. Now they are hitting the 200, 300, and uh, they are even being diagnosed with diabetes. The other explanation um, is also the microbiome diversity in the gut uh, diminishes significantly. When you shake that and, and then they need uh, all this prebiotics from the plant-based fibers and so forth. And um, so in carnivore diet, there's not a lot of fiber. Um, so as a result, this microbiome changes leads to uh, cardiovascular disease, inflammatory problems, um, and, uh, and, 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 and diabetes as well. I think what people don't realize that, you know, just because you have a short-term gain does not always reflect a long-term benefit. They see that, oh yeah, I'm in a carnivore and my blood sugars are better. By the way, it doesn't happen to everybody because protein can also increase your blood sugar. And if you are eating a lot of saturated fats with the protein, you will still remain insulin resistant.